had this idea of mixing elements from African culture with heavy metal music. By blending these two combinations, some people started calling the music African heavy metal. So even if you listen to the lyrics, it's about African mythology, tribal warfare, spirituality, and we tend to expand on those themes and we feel that it has a different atmosphere to the music. It's positive, it's exciting, so I think people should open their minds when they think about heavy metal. Overthrust began as a band, uh, it was around 2010, when uh, me and my cousin Walter used to meet and rehearse and then just a jamming session. One day we just felt like, you know, we can make a band, let's make a band. And then Walter bought drums and then I came with a guitar and then that's how we started. A lot of the radios don't really play rock music, so I think that's another challenge we face is getting our music onto the mainstream radios. Botswana, the way they're looking at uh, to our music, it's like uh, they are relating it to their religion. They don't put it as a form of music. They are putting uh, some perceptions on the genre. Some Botswana, they think death metal is like a satanist kind of music, but uh, it's just music. It's nothing like religion in that music or being a satanist. That is the problem that we encounter. I didn't believe in that belief of rock and roll because I thought it was satanism. But following it, listening to it and getting to know it, reading about it and, you know, finding it from the roots, I understood it's just, a, just music like any music that you can, people can just enjoy and relax and dress the way you want. Some of us uh, behave like crazy actually and uh, behaving in uh, abnormal way that people are not used to. Uh, people would call it crazy. I would call it crazy too. But uh, that's being, being bad in a good way. And this is a, it's a scene that we created ourselves. It's like, uh, it's like we have we got our own clan. It's our own subculture that give us identity and uh, you know with each other we feel happy and life goes on. Uh, with that metal it's all about how you feel and uh, saying out exactly how you feel without any fear or whatever. There's a perception that females kind of shouldn't be behind the drum kit. And uh, I think that I've been blessed with an opportunity to play with a band who's doing something different and it's opening the world's eyes to kind of the possibilities that you can have as a person. You don't have to be a certain way or a certain gender to do something. To me, I believe that Africa is the future for heavy metal because Africa is a continent which is rich in myth, in history, much of which has not been explored by the mainstream. So I think fans should take advantage of that and that would be the future of metal. If you want to see more Seeker stories, be sure to check out our video on Pantsula dancing in South Africa. When you dance Pantsula, you are free. Even if you're having some stress, what happened at home, in your township. But if you start to dance Pantsula, you're free, man. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.